Lord Serrano, and with me is Vinny. And we are here another week, and the this- boss, Lasanti. And you gotta, you gotta give yourself a nice intro, Vincent. You gotta go out there, give it your all. I know your old Knicks happy. You got the Knicks hat on, the Knicks jersey on. We got Frank engineering the show. Frank Valbiro, welcome back. I'm feeling yes. great. Feeling great. Thank feeling you so great. much. We had an awesome, awesome opening show in January. We'd like to thank you fans for the response of viewing viewing all the positive shares on Facebook and on iTunes yeah. and Instagram. It meant a lot to us. We didn't know the response we would get back. And it was all positive, and we couldn't thank you more. And us going forward into this new yeah. year, we're just going to keep bringing it and bringing it rated R style. And we're just not going to hold back. Fuck it. You're we right. don't really fucking care anymore. You're right. Uh, that's it. We're not, you know, I wish this was a beer in my hand instead of a power rate, but we'll get there maybe one day. We will get there. And we're just going to lash out of amazing wild card weekend in the NFL, an amazing championship game. Vinny, how was your weekend to start off? It was, now, up? It was great. I thought the football was amazing, besides the first game, but we all knew that. But other than that, every game was a fourth quarter nail biter. It was... You know, Except we were, for the last one, the first one. But. We were here last week, and I was complaining that the steeler Bengal game was on Saturday. Saturday and, they, night. and they put both AFC games on Saturday. That steeler Cincinnati game was maybe one of the best games I've ever watched in the last really? five years. Okay. It, was, it was all for the wrong reasons, give that. Yes. But it was fucking amazing. No, I mean, we was, had no, fucking was everything in that we game. We had a lot of fun, And you man. go back to all the name drops I was throwing on Cincinnati Bengals. They yeah. all had a... A big part in that game. Ryan Chazier, draft pick, linebacker. He was born to be a Steeler, along with C.J. Mosley in Baltimore. We said this guy will be a Steeler for a long time. Big pop on Giovanni Bernard. You could you could say it was helmet to helmet. Yes, you could But call makes it a that, Steeler type signature play. play. Exactly. And we go into the disaster. Jeremy Hill. For all you fantasy owners oh, out there, I drafted on. Jeremy Hill. I paid big money for him because I'm in an auction league. And I was so happy that motherfucker fumbled the ball. No, I, I was like, good for you, you piece of shit. So up more slump. But how, I, I don't understand it. how, now you have, they had the game in the bag. They had the game in the bag. Yep. First playoff on the Marvin Lewis, what a story it would have been. They would have won without Dalton. And, and now, <laughs> you know what, what happens? Is it just... I, when you have, you know, the focal point of a team like Cincinnati, they do not have... They do not know how to win big games. That's what it is. And their knock is they can't win in the playoffs. Yeah. So how, Jerry Mill doesn't we, know how to hold on to the ball to secure yeah. the win. When was the Cincinnati Bengal game you watched where he gave the first down to ice the game? I can't name you no, any. Right. They're usually up by 14 points and never in these type of games. You're right. And you, you got Big Ben who gets knocked out of the game. Vontaze Burford goes nuts, intercepts yeah. the ball, ball off Landry, knocks Big Ben out. Looks like the hero. Big Ben doesn't was come almost in. Almost was the hero. And then he has one arm, like he's like wide herb out of tombstone. <laughs> Comes on the field and just starts throwing three yard passes, and but, and then we yeah. know what happened next. <laughs> Vin, what yeah. was your take on that Steeler Bengal drive with Big Ben? What did you learn from watching Big Ben in that he's game? He's more of a warrior than I ever would have. I mean, I, I always knew he was a warrior, but to do that. But I don't understand why he didn't come out the drive before. That's still mind-boggling me. Why he didn't come out, why they waited for the for the fumble to occur for him to have to come back in. That's what I didn't understand. I understand he was hurt, but I mean, he couldn't throw the ball downfield, they said. Mm. He was throwing three-yard dump downs, taking whatever they would give him. But I'll tell you one thing. On that illegal hit on Antonio Brown, that was a missile he threw. <laughs> ligament, dam- missile. ligament damage or what? That was a missile he threw. An absolute missile. This is my theory on that, Ben. <laughs> this is my theory on that. Listen, it's 15 to nothing when Ben, ben got hit yes. by Burfick. Yes. They're at their own five-yard line. So even if you throw an incompletion, you're, I mean, you're, they're still going to score. They're going to get both the 50 and they're going to score a yes. touchdown. Yes. Regardless, he had to stay in the pocket and try to make a first down because if he got the first down, it's more time on the clock, it's two more minutes, and you're up 15 to nothing. Nothing, yes. You know, you're going to score anyway. So I got no problem. Oh, why didn't he throw the ball on the bounce? Should he throw it on the bounce? No. Because if he throws the ball on the bounce, they're still going to score and you're going to still yeah. punt inside your own 10. No, you're right. You, you know, he's trying to win the game, Big Ben. He's a warrior. He's the best of the best. He, he really and, you know, is. and McCarron played awful. And Again. you want to say, oh, it was the penalties. They did nothing for three quarters. They did guys. nothing. They did nothing. They nothing. were shut down. This guy we almost had two shutouts. <laughs> we almost had two shutouts in both games on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Cruzant, the running back. Uh, Tucson. I Tucson. Call him Cruzant. Yeah, no, Tucson. Cruzant. Yeah. I call him Cruzant. Played amazing. He, he was, was the best running back. five, six yards. He was the was best shocked. running back of all the games played on Saturday and Sunday on Wild Card Weekend. Did you find yeah. it funny, Vin, that A.J. McCarron was like, yeah, every time we got the ball, it started raining harder. And when Pittsburgh had it. So now we're going to blame the yeah, rain. Yeah, now they're going to use the excuses. We're going to blame the rain. Really? 
Yeah, what then he also said joke. that the balls, that I heard McCarron say something that, oh, I thought they're supposed to wipe the balls off for us. That was only for Pittsburgh that they were wiping the balls off. Don't don't complain. I mean, every team is in charge of their own balls. Balls, exactly. Yeah. We've le- have we learned We've anything learned from this. the flake game that happened a year ago? They want to blame yeah. the balls. Okay. It's just- it took you three quarters to throw the fucking ball to A.J. Green. Let's yeah, be that's honest. What it, that's what it did. He, exactly. he got the first pass of the game, and you didn't see him until he scored the touchdown. You're right. You didn't see him. You did and not see him he, at all. He caught like a 12-yard pass, and then he caught the touchdown. Yeah. And that was it. You're right. Really, guys? Uh, is Ed Reed in the backfield for, for the Steelers? Is Troy Pop Milo no. there or something? Why are you not throwing deep the whole game? I, Just one-on-one balls? I, even, I, though, even if he's double covered. I didn't understand Who gives it. a shit? Maybe a penalty will occur. Something will occur. Yeah. I mean, um, you're I right. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. But then, where do you? Does, is Marvin Lewis safe after this disaster? They said he's safe. But yeah. I'm telling. Would you, if you're the owner of the Cincinnati Bengals, would you bring him back? No, I would why, not bring why? him back. I mean, they and they say, oh, they're, they're going to blame the injuries that Andy Dalton wasn't able to play. But I look at it more in depth that they can't. They couldn't win last year with Andy Dalton. They didn't win this year. He was hurt. I understand that. But at the end of the day. They're not disciplined. This defense is not disciplined. They commit some of the stupidest penalties I've ever seen be committed in in the in NFL history. It's the, it's sad. The, you have to have a disciplined coach. And now they just lost Hugh Jackson, the offensive coordinator. He was a big piece to that team, I thought. Mm-hmm. I mean, now you lose him. I, I don't know where that team's going. But that's all I want to know. I want to know, would you keep Marvin Lewis? Or I would keep Marvin Lewis. I, would I, I said it last week. He changed the culture in Cincinnati. Before, when he drafted Carson Palmer, it's yes. been, but they act like they're the Seattle Seahawks, like they won a championship before. With all these dumb hellers, you yeah. have won nothing in eight <laughs> years. Yeah, your, your regular season's fucking phenomenal. They make the playoffs every year. And they you make, make the playoffs, but you don't do shit. They don't win. You go home. Like everyone else. And there's too much talent on the offensive and defensive side of the ball not to be in the You Super have ball. weapons. You have A.J. Green, Tyler Eifert at the tight end. You have Sanu <laughs> on one side. I mean, uh, Marv, the other receiver, um, uh, Marvin Ma- Jones. Marvin Jones, Mohamed Sanu. You Sinem. have Mohamed Sanu, A.J. Green. You have I've Jeremy heard. Hill. You have Gio Bernard. You have But weapons. even go to defense. You have defense. a defense as well. I mean, you have <laughs> You have Geno Atkins. You have Maluga. You have, have Vontaze Perfect. perfect. <laughs> but the thing is, Vinny, you get windows in NFL. In any That's sport. what it is, yeah. And, he, and I, Kurt Herbstein said it the best on Monday in the NFL Championship game. That even this, you don't have to win a championship in order to be called a dynasty. But you have that window when you're in the NFC Championship game or the Super Bowl year in and, and year out. out. And you're a top team. And Cincinnati is a top team now for like three years. Three, four years three, now, Three, four yeah. years. And that window's going to close. People leave because of contracts. Exactly. People get older. People get injured. But they're a young team. They are. They yeah. are a young team. They are a young team. But... You can't get it done. You got to set the right formula. Like if Tom Coughlin coached his team, but you can't even say that. I can't even say Tom Coughlin because Odell was wild exactly. too. Exactly. You know, Odell was wild too. But someone has to play. But could, what are you going to do? Sit Vontez Perfect? Then you don't have a shot. He changed the game in one quarter. He did. You're exactly right. It's That's unbelievable. Why you can't sit him, but something has to be done. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got Gypsy him. in the house now. Gypsy's engineer What's up, the show. Gyps? Welcome back, Gyps. What's up, brothers? How y'all doing? What's uh, up? We missed you. We missed you. Like and Gyps, we would uh, we got something to Dropbox. Vontaze Burford kick. I want to pull up now. Vinny, we didn't talk about this. Was this deserving of a 15 yard penalty or not? Would you give this a flag? Do you think it was a penalty yes. or no? I do. Yes. Well, how come? He got smoked. If you look He's at it in sp- slow motion, he got hit really hard, and he led with the helmet. I understand he tried saying it was the shoulder. He tried saying that, but still, it was a defenseless receiver. He, I mean, he got he got popped. Yeah, it should be on the perfect hit. Perfect, Antonio Brown. If we could get it up, it should be on the bottom. It's the first thing I threw I mean, in the watching drop box. It live. I took the picture, and it was a perfect picture of it. It was uh, his when he plants his left foot. Like okay. I think everyone say perfect could have got out of the way, but if you watch the replay, if you watch his left foot, he sticks his left foot into the ground and goes full at Antonio Brown. Brown. And I am with you, but he did hit him on the shoulder, but he did go head hunting, ladies yes, and gentlemen. It, it, he did go and, head hunting. And Antonio Brown was defenseless. It's not like he, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to find uh, it Jibs, what do you got in there? This is what we got. Uh, yeah, the last one on the left. Down, right, yep, there, right there. Yeah, Vontaze okay. perfect. Right there, got back. It, got it. Uh, and, um, once we get up, boom. You see that picture? His left foot, I'm sorry, his, yeah, that's his right foot is planted. Right his foot, left yeah. foot is the yeah, air. It's a millisecond before, but he's all shoulder there, man. It's all shoulder right there. But yeah, it is again, illegal. It's, they, it's, it's illegal. It's an illegal hit. It's that they're trying to protect the receivers. 
mm-hmm. you'd have these all year long. You'd have so many injuries on great receivers. It wouldn't even be. That's why you had to throw the penalty. That wasn't the stupid penalty, though. If if you want to get tactical, the stupid penalty was was Pac-Man Jones pushing Joey Porter. I don't, I don't understand. Joey Porter's on the field. I don't understand why Joey Porter's on the field because Antonio Brown is an offensive player and Joey Porter is a defensive coach. So I don't know what the fuck he was doing on the field in the first place. That I don't understand at all. He's rated number two I, uh, uh, dirtiest player in NFL ever. history. I know, I know. And he gets a personal foul to you help You the best part team? of it all? He got the game ball. <laughs> he got the game ball. They gave him the game ball. <laughs> you gotta love the steals, bro. I fucking love that but that's my point. You have to be disciplined on defense. You can't push a coach. And he's not supposed to be there, but you can't push him. <laughs> Learn how to re- restrain yourself sometimes. But he was doing that all like, yeah. Mm. yeah like that whole smile, like, yeah, I'm going to crack you with the jaw was. type. Of course like, he yeah. was. Like, bring yeah. it, because you don't I fuck know. with Joey Porter, bro. No, I know that. Joey Porter will lay you <laughs> out. I know. Now, like, I got a, a question big for dude. you. What's up, man? That I heard during the week that uh, Pac-Man Jones said it, that Antonio Brown was faking the injury. What is your... Opinion on okay. that. Okay. When you look because at the that's play, been a big topic. when you look at the play, he gets drilled. He gets but drilled. he does the Ole soccer thing and throws his hands up in the air like this to sell it. That's a sell move. I know you got hit, yeah. but that's a lifeless body move as well. When you get hit in your lifeless body, you know, it all goes down and goes his up. His head but, did smash on the floor. But twice. he turned and the hands went up, and I, I went, Is he selling this? It did cross my mind. Yeah. It did sell, and then everyone was on the field, I'm like, Okay. Do I believe it? No. I think he got smoked, so, and I think he tried to sell it after he got smoked. smoked I think he yeah. knew exactly what would happen. He could have got a concussion because, listen, Vontis Burford just tackled yeah. Ben Roethlisberger 30 <laughs> minutes ago. Exactly. On a tackle and broke, uh, almost broke his shoulder. <laughs> exactly. So, obviously, it's with force. Exactly. But exactly right. if Antonio Brown comes out and he's okay on Friday, you got to you gotta ask the question. Because a hit like that, you shouldn't be playing this week. No, you're right. You shouldn't be you playing. Shouldn't be. So, I, we'll yeah, find out. That, that there would, that Do he I was believe so? That Antonio Brown was grinning as he was walking off the field. So, I don't know, man. I I think if I had a pick, honestly, I think he faked it. I think he's going to play Friday. I think he's going to be fine. I think he did. I really think. And Jones said it. It goes, if he plays Friday, I will will not apologize to him. If he doesn't play, I will apologize to him. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what's what's going to happen. Uh, Exactly. uh, Are you okay with the suspension now? He got three games. Perfect. The hero to the zero. The hero, exactly. The hero to the zero. Are you okay with Um, three games? Yeah, I'm okay with the three games. I would have gave him two. I'm okay with it only because of his track record. His mm. track record's horrible. <laughs> I would have gave him two, and you better believe, NFL fans, Pittsburgh will be playing Cincinnati in week one or week two yes. of those games, so this doesn't happen again. Yeah. They can say, oh, it's bad for the league. These teams hate each other. This ain't going anywhere. <laughs> this is far there from over. There was almost brawls on the field. <laughs> we said it last Wednesday, like, Vin. I know. We said, yo, there's going to be a fist fight in this game. There almost yeah, was a mind. few of them. <laughs> you knock out franchise players. Talk about perfect. You knocked out Big Ben, Antonio Brown, and Le'Veon Bell in the same season. And then Gio in the same season. Got knocked out. You knocked out the whole offense. I know. That's how nasty you are. That's how good you are and how crazy you are. <laughs> I mean, you're right. It's a sick thought. It, re- it really is. Awesome game. I don't, it's going to be tough to beat that going forward. I believe this game was going to live up to be better than the Super Bowl, to be honest with you. It, it was might. amazing. It, it was fucking amazing. In all, in all aspects, this game was amazing. I wish I was there. I feel terrible for Bengal fans. But you know what? That's what you get for you. Take these guys that are crazy. Yeah, I mean, exactly. we all knew Vontaze Burford coming out of Arizona State was out of his fucking mind. We you knew took a Pat, chance we, And we knew Pac-Man Jones was a nutcase yeah. from from years, years back. Years back. Years <laughs> I mean, back. once they told me he had a, what was it, when after he got drafted, he bought a Rolls Royce and he put as the headrest Pac-Man. Oh, I Jesus said, come on, this guy's Christ. a head case. What a joke. From that point on, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did good in the picks, and our only game we agreed on, Vinny, was What's the Chiefs-Houston, and we'll yeah, I mean, keep the short and sweet. Honestly, it was over once they kicked the ball off. Yeah, Literally, that was a blowout. 30 to nothing. We said it was going to land on 37. We were a touchdown oh, away from hitting it on the nose. We had the under that game. Brian Hoare, pack your bags. You're out of this league. I yeah. think... Who benefits from this the Go most? The, the first, CFL. The first person that came to mind was Hackenberg. Bill O'Brien might yes. get his old quarterback back. Might go in the second round then, maybe trade up in the late first round. Go get him. That makes sense. It does. Uh, I think Hackenberg was there smile, in all smiles watching this he game. He was, yeah. Because now you need a quarterback. There's no way, no way you're going to sell that fan base, Brian Hoyer, next season. Oh, in no. Return. You can't sell them anybody of that. So that was last year. That was the year before. Every year they're selling them horribleness. It's just worse and worse every year. Yeah. 
Uh, that's I feel bad for them because they have a good defense. As we've seen, they have a good receiver, and they I don't know what's going on with what Arian Foster's situation mm-hmm. is next year, but if he comes back, I mean, you fucking you get hurt cool. every week, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but this, you, this, you gotta pull the you know no, the plug right. on Arian Foster. You're right, but you got Hopkins. You have weapons. And here. You have a defense. Yeah. And you I gotta mean, get a quarterback. You need a quarterback. In there. <laughs> you need a quarterback. In there. That's what it comes down to. Embarrassing game. You, you know, you made the playoffs. Yeah, but it's not even. It's not even like a, an accomplishment. You got blown out at home. You got shut out at home in a playoff <laughs> game. I mean, I'd rather not make the playoffs than get shut out at home. <laughs> when you run the wildcat on the one yard line with your defensive, yeah, line, with, with JJ Watt and Vince Wilfork, is that Wilfork. not a fucking problem? Yeah, ladies look, what the? Fuck? Is I this mean, a problem? You're no, on the I, I, one. I mean, and you can't get in the goddamn end zone. And when you, you have no, when you have nothing else going for you, <laughs> that's when you have to resolve to. Alfred Blue was not going to score there. Who was going to score there? It's true. Poy would probably throw a pick or fumbled. I, I mean, come on. What an ugly game. What <laughs> an ugly first game. Thank God it was the early game. I see. This is why I spend, NFL knows what they're doing. They, they know to put this doing. game on first. Come on. What they, a they shit box what game. Doing. We gotta That's wait stupid. hours of that. We're look at people, NFL fans, we're looking at our fucking time. When's That's the next what it game was. start? That's what it was. A joke. I even left your house and came back. I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. The Sunday crew of my house. Is insane. And we'll go to another great game, and we got a story here. Vinny, what would you take? Seattle, Minnesota. You picked Minnesota to win the game, bro. They covered for you, which was very nice. I was very shocked I had Seattle. Yeah, what would they, you take on this game, they though? They covered man? for me. It was. It was a good game. It was very boring because there was just literally like no offense at all because it was negative three degrees. Mm -hmm. The balls were hard as hell. The floor was hard as hell. I mean, Seattle, I mean, I'll tell you one thing. Minnesota played a good, a great, I thought, first half, but then they started playing this very, very conservative football where they weren't even trying to score a touch. They were just trying to get three and kick three and kick three, and it, it backfired on them. They were just trying to get points, get points on the board, but then that one big... Game-changing play changed the whole game in the fourth quarter. Now, now the season's <laughs> over. Bye-bye, Minnesota. You, it, <laughs> I mean, I think you hit it on the nose, Vinny, when you said conservative play call. Yes, Minnesota had a good game. But you know what? They took no shots down the field. Like None. Seattle took shots down the field. They None. they ran the ball, ran the ball, three-yard passes to the sidelines, and very like, safe throws by Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. They played not to not, to, not lose. to lose the game. Not they didn't play to win. Yeah, exactly. They did not play to win. And when you play not to lose, something happens. You could be up nine nothing with eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. Ten a- minutes, exactly. And then something happens, and the whole fucking stadium and everybody on the side is like, "Oh shit!" Oh shit! And Gypsy, we have a play in the highlight. This is how good Russell Wilson is, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Man. Russell Wilson play. There's a backstory to this, and we will talk about it. But we want to show the greatness of Russell Wilson. Look at this play. It changes the game. I almost broke a TV because this play. Derry Jeter slides. Rolls out to the right. Got him. There's my boy, Tyler Lockett. Running all the way. One guy to beat. Fastest guy in the field. Tackled at the two-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, backdrop to the story, I'll tell you right. You remember our co-host, James Harnett, Jimmy Dugan, as you know. I was like, James, what did you bet in this game? James, tell me what you bet. He goes, I got no touchdowns in the game. I go, okay, James, I got Tyler, I got Tyler Lockett first touchdown. I had Tyler Lockett first touchdown. <laughs> He was plus eleven hundred. I put forty dollars on him to win forty. Uh, was it four hundred and forty dollars? Yeah. And fucking gets tackled at the three yard line. After all that, after, after all that, to the get fastest the ball. guy on the fucking field. Are you kidding me? And that's how the luck of me and James are, and the luck of Pipe Bomb Sports. We have stories like this that we want to tell you guys. <laughs> yeah. Ty Lockie catches the ball on a scramble. Russell Wilson makes an amazing play. He shouldn't get caught, and the guy fucking catches him, tackles him, tackles him by the neck at the two. <laughs> Dugan has like twenty to win nine grand on no touchdowns <laughs> in the game. He he's looking fucking amazing up to the fourth quarter. Up until and that. what happens? Doug Baldwin catches a two yard catch. The next play after, only touchdown in the game. So me and Dugan rooted for different things, and we both get fucked at the end, the end of the day. day. But right. it was a great bet. I gotta give our co-host, our ex co-host uh, Jimmy Dugan, credit for that. Fantastic bet. If you people out there took it as well. It was, Great call. It was because you know the, the cold like that, but you got. Do you? Is it fair to blame Blair, Blair Walsh on all this with the missed kick? I know it was a chip shot, but listen, he hit three other ones for you. He hit a forty-seven yarder at one point. How about you fucking scoring in the end zone for the guy? Yeah, yeah he missed a twenty-seven. Laces were in, but you know what? With the pressure on the line, you choked, and the guy choked. He should have hit it. You know what? As an offense, you got to score a touchdown yeah. at one point. Wait, no, can, I just, can I just say something real quick? What? I, I was at my, I was at uh, the golf lounge, and uh, 
you you actually can do a split screen with regular TV with the cable TV and and the uh, simulator. Mm-hmm. And I just happened to turn the game on right to the moment of that field goal. And I said, wait, was that a replay? <laughs> and then I saw the fourth on the bottom of the screen on the on the lower third. I said, maybe that's fourth down. <laughs> I said, wait, that's fourth quarter, 20 seconds? I could not believe it. I felt so bad for the guy. Yeah, it I was, felt so bad for the guy. He took it like a champion after the game. I get it. Yeah, he answered but all the questions. I don't blame him, quarters, man. But. I don't. I don't. You had three quarters to score a touchdown. You did nothing to win that game. You I could nothing. see if they scored a touchdown and he wound up missing at the end of the game. Like that. That's a different story, but you wanted this kid to kick four field goals mm. in those horrible uh, weather conditions. I mean... The offense has to score a touchdown. Yeah. End of story. That's I don't true. care. It was closer than a fucking extra point. <laughs> I, I don't care. It does that doesn't make any 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 meaning to me whatsoever. Score a touchdown in a playoff game. I mean, come on. Yeah, and you know, I thought Zimmer's reaction really bo- it bothered me. He goes, "Oh, you had to make a chip shot. You did nothing on offense to win this game. Nothing. You did nothing. You want to put the blame on your kicker? I mean, at least run a trick player to do something on Seattle. I mean, what was it?" Twice Seattle was inside their own 30. They didn't kick the field goal. They went for it on they fourth down. That's how bad the conditions were. And you send this guy out there three times to kick 40 yarders. And he hit three of them. He put you in a position to win the game. When Seattle so went be there. Steve yeah. Hoshka, who's a great kicker. And and they didn't go for it. You're right. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I agree with you. 100%. Yeah, he missed it. Yeah, they should have won. But you know what? You did nothing on offense. You did not score a touchdown. Russell Wilson, once again, comes to the forefront. When they need him the most, when a team looks like shit, makes an amazing play to Tyler yeah. Lockett, hits Doug Baldwin. Fantastic. That's why he's the number one, man. He's, he's number one. He's, he's big time. He is big time. That he is. And he's he absolutely paid. big he's, time, man. I thought, I can't, I can't believe how he's carrying this team on his back. On his back. No Jimmy Graham, no Marshawn Lynch. What has he done the last two Scary. weeks? He goes into Arizona and blows him out of the window. He goes into minus one degrees in Minnesota outside with a with the best running back in football, and he beats them too. Yeah. Could you imagine if he beats Cam Newton this week? What's going to oh happen to Russell Wilson? Can you imagine what happens? Forget about Seriously, it. Seriously, man. Give the guy credit. You, and I, and I, I, I was give him, the, I give him the utmost of credit, even for taking this team this far. And I was this, number one mean, against him. You are. Me. And I, I am sorry. I was wrong. You fan. I mean, fantastic. And I, well, fantastic. I want to ask you something on a, on a, on a Please do, keeping man. with Seattle. What do you think about Marshawn Lynch? I, I read I think a, a pussy. I, I, I was going to say I read a report that he <coughs> waited till one hour before they were going to leave to tell the coaching staff he couldn't go. I think he's absolute pussy. I mean, not there to win a championship. Well, yeah, what's what's really You're wrong with this go. guy? What's really wrong with this guy? I don't how long has he been out for? Six weeks? Yeah, Longer? and and they're, and they're saying that like, how do you tell your coach? One hour before you're going to leave, at least tell them two or three days so they can at least get a game plan set up. You don't give them no time whatsoever to get a game plan set up. Based, on, You know, they're basing you on, on playing. And you come out an hour before you guys are going to leave and say, I can't make it. Come on. He's a pussy. Come on. I, I, I wouldn't respect that. I wouldn't go with him going forward. I think the no. backup did fine. No, I, well, I wouldn't go he with him. He had some nice holes. Yeah, 21 carries for 70 yards. It's not bad. I mean, no. come on. But, you know, it's you know when you look at teams like Minnesota and Cincinnati that had great seasons. They did. And to lose how they did, it, it you know, it, it breaks people's hearts. It that breaks it fan bases' hearts. And sometimes it takes more than a year to recover from this. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if Minnesota will be the same after this. Oh, we don't know. I don't know. We have no idea what they're going to be next and year. And the funny part is they're moving into a dome stadium, so this yeah. won't be a problem next year. But <laughs> see, Christ that's where well. I think. I think, I think they're stupid for doing that. You got to use those that weather to your advantage. I mean, that's a huge advantage booster. For, you know, you make a playoff series, you're coming in negative four degree weather. No team is used to playing except for you. It's See, your home field. You you put in a dome. It's now everyone's used to a dome. That's a fucking perfect question, Vinny. And let me tell you why that they're going into a dome. Because before Zimmer, this was Culpepper, Randy yes. Moss, Chris Carter. This was let's Air throw the ball 60 yep. yards down the field. You're right. Yep. You're hot. And now when you go outside, who better than Mike Zimmer, the old defensive coordinator for the Bengals, to build a defense outside like this? And That's he's what perfect. I'm saying. And he might not be ready for the, a dome. A dome. Man. I don't think Teddy Bridgewater is going to. I don't think Teddy Bridgewater is going to be ready for a dome. He can't throw the ball downfield. I, I like the guy. He's a great quarterback in my eyes, but he can't throw the ball downfield. Right. They don't take enough shots downfield to be in a dome in my eyes. They're, they're a run-heavy defensive team. He's he's a smart quarterback, Teddy. He, a he's very a worse smart version of Alex Smith, and that's yes. the best I can, yes. I can give him for. But he don't throw the With ball no downfield. No, he doesn't. That's my point. But <laughs> it's it's like, you know, the notch on him in the in the combine it's and everything. You know, it's, yeah, we get that. 
but you can't, you know, you can't put him in shackles for his whole career. No, you like, can't. Like, you're never going to win like that. No, of course you not. You know, Alex Smith had to learn, and his shackles off a little, but he's yeah, smart. He's he still yeah. He can use his legs. He can, and yeah. Teddy doesn't do that enough. And, but when you have what, Mike Wallace and Rudolph and AP and, and weapons. And Stephon Diggs, the, and the, Diggs the, the speed kid. And McKinnon, the speed back, backing up AP. There's no reason. So when you're down 10-9, you start throwing 15-yard outs to Kyle Rudolph on well, arguably the best defensive player yeah. in the league camp chancellor. And it works. Because you didn't do it the whole fucking game. Don't be surprised you lose. Because you played not to lose. Exactly. You, that's what you did. It's sad. It's Yeah. Uh, it's, it, we hit on the money, Vinny. Perfect question. I love that stuff with you. We got uh, four minutes before break. We got one more game to recap before we go into this week's picks. And uh, Packers, Washington. I mean, I had Green Bay here. Listen, Vinny, you had Washington. I'm I starting this so. Start it off, please. Um, in the start of this game, the first play was a safety. It looked like this was the <laughs> Washington Robin stop. Aaron looked horrible once again. No running game. Kurt, you liked that all day. The fans were in. I go, this is a Robin stop, man. Something's wrong with Green Bay. They're not going to be the same. Total overhaul in the offseason, and then something just happened. The second quarter started <laughs> was what happened. The sec- I, I wa- No, the second quarter started, and they start- They changed that. I don't know if you've seen they, If you notice, they changed their offense up, mm-hmm. Green Bay. They started going with short, shorter passes, mm-hmm. dumping down, dumping down. That opened up the field big time for them. Big time, and then it became a... I thought Cousins was good, Vin. I didn't think he was great. He wasn't I, great. I thought he had a perfect touchdown pass to Jordan Reed. Awesome pass for the yes. first touchdown of the yes, game. Yes, it was. But he did have happy feet. He got away with a pick six in the flat to the left side on Ha Clinton Dix. Yeah. He didn't catch it. But he, it, it just wasn't all there. It wasn't like... And for an offensive guru like Jay Gruden is, I expected more from the offense. Right. 18 points against the Green Bay defense at... At home, At you should have got more. He you know, have. Deshaun Jackson, I don't blame him because he's running to the pylon to get in. Yeah. And if he extends, he might not get it because his whole contortion of his body Probably has to the change. way it is. You're right. He's running to the pylon. Listen, you're from the one you're on. You got to get in. You have to. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can quarterback sneak and just run forward, for God's fucking sake. Yeah, it's not hard. I... It's not hard. Alvin Morris was scared to get lit up by Clay Matthews. That guy sucks. Lost two yards. That guy sucks. Then you sucks. take a full star penalty, and instead of going up 9 nothing, it's 5 nothing. Back to yeah. disciplined teams. Exactly. Teams that aren't disciplined. Stupid teams. That's what it is. It's sad. You get to the one yard line, you get a full start. I mean, it should have been, yeah. But then they scored again, make it 11 because they missed the extra that's point. point. But if you, in retrospect, you should be up 15. I know. It's just, you know, it's little stuff like that. But I had to talk to Green Bay because Eddie Lacy came out of nowhere and started running second half as yeah. well. 12 carries, but, 63 yards, and a touchdown he had. You know, we said it uh, last week's show, we don't think any of these teams are going to go anywhere Super Bowl-wise. I yeah. mean, I didn't pick them at least. Yeah. It, but it was a good game to watch. And, you know, Washington, you could hang your hat on a, you know, a bullshit 9-7 record season. And yeah. you just, you, you lost to Green Bay 35-18 at home. Uh, what do you want to yeah, say? You, Green Bay has had no offense all season. Exactly. It's still Aaron, though. Yeah. It's still Aaron. That's the, and, that's the scary thing. Now RG three's gone. You left a note in his yeah, locker room afterwards. No, yeah, you've seen so, that. So and it's Kirk Cousins' team, and he he deserved it. And he earned it. I I, I oh, hope wait, he, I, have, he, I have no, I have no, no problem. No, he with that. actually left a physical note. Yeah, yeah, he did. He left a note. And what he ran away like a little kid. I mean, I no, he said goodbye to everybody when he cleaned out his locker. He uh, he left a goodbye note. You know, you know, basically people didn't believe in him in Washington and stuff. He's like, you know. Just going to keep working harder at stuff, and I'm going to prove them wrong. It was, it was a good note. So is he leaving the NFL or just leaving the, the skins? No, he's leaving, no, the, he's skins. leaving the skins. He's done. Uh-huh. He's going to go play another team. And hopefully Probably the Cowboys win. or somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, that's our guess is Dallas. Uh, where else would you go? Yeah, really. Honestly. So, all right, guys, we're going to take a break, and we're going to get ready for this weekend divisional round. We'll be sure back will. in a little bit. Bulletproof has always been about identifying and taking advantage of every single thing that makes people perform better. When you drink it, you just don't care about food. No cravings, no hunger for four to six hours, and you feel a kind of mental clarity that you probably haven't felt in years. Have you heard of uh, Bulletproof coffee? I tried it today, I feel pretty good.
Addicted to Ink, a proud sponsor of the Zaraza Entertainment Network, is Westchester's premier tattoo, piercing, and apparel destination. Offering only the finest tattoo and piercing services, as well as the best atmosphere you will find. Addicted to Ink is located conveniently at 38 Westchester Avenue in White Plains, New York, right across the street from the Westchester Mall. If you got the itch for more ink, like the Zaraza boys do, get your work done right. Visit www.addictedtoinktattoos.com for more information. Located at 210 Americ Avenue in White Plains, New York. Visit our location and choose from a wide selection of exotic flavors. You're watching the Zadaza Entertainment Network on ZenLive.tv. We're going to pick winners and shit too, right? Yeah. You're going to have winners for us, Vin? Yeah, but now I'm you sure? Force to give you I don't know. Of course. I don't know. I'm still a little upset about I the Minnesota guys. Vikings not winning outright. Uh, yeah, outright over there. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice game. <laughs> Should have happened. 10-9. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was great. So much action. <laughs> I watched Speed in Hawaii this whole weekend, to be hey, honest. Man, he, he shot great, Speed. He is. He's, you know, he's the he's man. He's a superstar. He's the man. All right, guys, we're back, and we're kicking off our divisional round playoff talk. And our first game after we got our college football championship game recap, which we will do at the end. Yes. But our first game, we have Chiefs versus Patriots. Chiefs coming off a dominating win against Houston. They are plus five in you know, in Foxborough against Brady and Belichick. Tough game. A lot of rumors going around that Gronk had a party and Chandler Jones took drugs and he had to go to the hospital. That's the report right now. <laughs> you know, the Patriots looked awful the last two weeks. Lost to, lost to the Jets in MetLife. They lost to the Dolphins. Offense is not the same anymore. But, you know, they're supposed to have Elman back. And yeah. five points is a lot when the Chiefs win 11 games in a row. It's a lot of points. The over is at 41. But, if, you know, if I'm a better man, if I had to put money on this game, there's no fucking way I'm going against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick off a bye. I don't care who's playing wide. I don't care who's playing, uh, you know, de defense. They just, well, you know, coach, coaching wins. Anything knows coaching wins. If you have, watch the national championship, coaching wins. Yes. And coaching wins at any sport. Any sport, any it's, level of any sport. And any reason good coach, but he's known to choke in the playoffs, man. Never won a ring before. Yes. Bray, uh, Belichick always has his number. Alex Smith, he's good, but he might not play to lose. Exactly. I see Tom going off in this game. I see short passes, wide receiver screens. Uh, Gronk's going to have two touchdowns. I like... I like New England 27-21 in this game. I, I do. I think Tom has three TDs. I think uh, um, they might get one on the ground as well. I think White scores one. Uh, I think Smith plays good. I just think he makes a mistake in his own and at his own 20 will lead to a defensive turnover and to a touchdown as well. So I got Pat's 27-21 in this one. I got the over 41 as well. And uh, Vin, what do you like See, here? I, uh, I I tend to to disagree with you here. Mm -hmm. I like uh I like the Chiefs here. I think they're gonna actually win the game outright. They've been playing very good football. Their defense has been playing great, forcing turnovers, making turnovers, making things happen. That's what wins football games. The New England didn't look like I understand versus the Jets and Miami, but I don't take that into consideration much. It was the last two games of the season. Belichick did not want to get any more guys hurt than he already has hurt. I understand Edelman's coming back, but you don't know to what level he's going to be able to play. It's his first game back, a playoff game. I mean, I understand it is Foxborough, but I'm going Chiefs here. I'm going Chiefs 27-24. Chiefs win the game outright. Wow, outright. Upset in time at home. I don't buy after the whole yep. the flake gate issue. Wow. But, Vin, what's the report on Macklin? Is he playing or not? Because that's huge. It's gonna man. be. I that's think. Huge. I think. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's, it's gonna Wednesday, be a game we're not time gonna decision. Know. Yeah. Well, we're gonna know Friday, but I think it's gonna be a game time decision. Is what I'm reading because it's, it's an ankle sprain. It's a high ankle sprain. I'm giving I know you the high option, ankle man. sprains can be bad, but I want the option now because you're not gonna say, "Oh, Macklin didn't play." That's no, why we didn't cover. So if Macklin not, doesn't yeah, play, I'm are you sticking, sticking with it? To it. I'm sticking. I'm just to making it. sure you don't flip flop. I don't not flip flop, but I'm sticking to it. That's it. I don't care if he plays or not. I'm taking Tom Brady because it's Tom Brady, and that's it. And that's a great that's a great kickoff game for Saturday as well. Foxborough is Fox gonna be pumped it's up. Better than last week's. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be a great <laughs> game. 
I, it's going to be a very good game. I, it is. They're just well, you know, with the trick plays we saw against the Ravens last year in the playoffs with the Patriots, they will have, they will be ready for the yeah. Chiefs. They will be ready. And they've given up points before the Chiefs. Oakland scored a couple points on them and stuff during the regular season. The Chiefs, here it is. Cleveland has scored 17 points on the Chiefs as well. I, I got to go with Tom here. I got, they got to just click. I think Belichick saved, you know, saved his eggs for the playoffs, made sure everyone was healthy, and now he's ready to go. And I think there are a lot of people that think like you, Vin, and we're yeah. going to see what happens if you guys are right. We are. But if, I think we'll know right away. I think we'll yeah. know when the first quarter is over how this game is going to turn out. I right away, so. we'll I know. I think so as well. I think um, so as well. The question is, if you're down 14 nothing, just say, does Alex Smith, can he come back from it? Because he got the team, but could he pull the trigger mm-hmm. when you need it the most? To come back and lead like a ten point comeback. I mean, I'm not looking at. Who's your guy that you think's gonna go nuts for the case? Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. I think Kelsey's gonna go nuts. Yeah, I think he's gonna go nuts. Nice easy pick. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Who do you you think's gonna go nuts for New England besides besides Gronk? It is gonna be Gronk. (laughs) Easy pick. It's gonna be Gronk. (laughs) Easy pick. (laughs) Right. Right. And we got and we and we're going to the Saturday game, Saturday night game now. They're blessing us Saturday, man. We have two great games. We go back to Arizona. Yeah. You know, we had Notre Dame versus Ohio State in Arizona. Just yeah. think about this. Notre Dame versus Ohio State. We had Bama versus Clemson. Yeah. And now Arizona has Green Bay versus Arizona in two weeks, man. How awesome is that? That's amazing. How awesome is Arizona right That's now? I wish amazing. I was there. And it's in the University of Phoenix arena. Yeah. You know, the University of Phoenix doesn't even have a campus. It's an, really? an all-online school. Yeah, I, I write up on it. <laughs> oh, go fight in Phoenix. That's right. <laughs> yeah, because Larry <laughs> Fitzgerald got, finished, finished his degree there. That's right. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Vince, start this game up for us. Arizona's um, minus seven at home, under yes. over 50. Arizona's minus seven here. Green Bay's plus seven. Um, I like the over in the game, over 50 points. I think it's going to be a closer game than everybody thinks. Green Bay now has confidence that after winning in, in Washington, I think they have a little bit of confidence going into this game. Um, I, th- I think Arizona is going to win the game, but I think Green Bay covers the seven points. Mm-hmm. I see a 31-28 final, something along those lines. That's what I see here. I what like, about you, Nellyville? I like 31-24, so it's on the money. So it's so going to be a push. I'm buying the half a point. Well, I'm buying the half, half point regardless. You yeah, have, you so have to you like seven and a half, I like six and a half. Okay. So we got yeah. we got push game here. Arizona seven, I think Green Bay plays much better than they did last night with there. They got blown out of the window. Yes. I think if Arizona jumps on them early and scores a touchdown on their first drive, it's going to be very hard for Green Bay to respond. First quarter, once again, will tell us a lot in this yes. game. I know it said it again. But Green Bay has to throw these short throws. They have like to run they the did, football. Like they did, yes. Exactly. Aaron has to run and gain first downs with his legs, legs. ladies and gentlemen. He has to take off. Go Shaco and Aaron. Two I reads agree with and you get 100%. the fuck out of the pocket. No, you're and 100% run. right. Because, I mean, I, I heard that Eddie Lacy is not on the injury report this week. Uh, what else is new? What are you, so, eight, too many donuts? I think so, yeah. He, I, I mean, I'm sorry. He gained so much yeah. fucking weight. I've, I've never seen. He blew up like a balloon. My McCarthy looks like he wants to beat the shit out of him. It looks like a balloon. It's insane. It's so bad. It's so bad. I'm scared when he gets tackled. Someone might pop him if he lands on a cleat. I think the Packers' defense is underrated by the naked eye. To a lot of, and they're good defense. Yeah, they play good. Well, they thrive off of making a lot of turnovers, the Packers. Dude. They've done that for years. Mm-hmm. But, you know, to make it simpler, Vinny, I won't buy the half a point. I'll lay the seven. Okay. If I'm betting, I'm buying the half a point just to be smart. Stop being cheap fucks out there. Buy That's the half a point. That's what cost you 10 cents, guys. Yeah. Come on. Get out. Like, get over it. And I, I like the over as well. I'm playing the over. I got a yeah. 24, third, I got 31, 24, as I said. And I think Carson with the air attack is just going to be too much, man. You played on Sunday, Green Bay. Yeah. This game is Saturday night. You're feeling good. You got to go in Arizona. Zona. So you're traveling on Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Where you haven't practiced time to get ready for Arizona. No, you're right. It doesn't make any sense. Arizona two weeks off. This could be a blowout as well. But I think Green Bay will, will be smart. And they'll be born like the Minnesota Vikings were against Seattle. And they will just move the chains okay. and try to win the game on defense. And when that happens, if, if that happens, they, they got a shot. But I like Arizona. Yeah. I like Arizona. I agree with you there. How and, about now, on, uh, and now we go to Sunday. Open up And Sunday. we got Cam Newton versus Russell Wilson, man. It, does it get any bigger than this? The MVP no. versus Russell Wilson. I mean, you backtrack into this year. Cam Newton down four. Hits Greg Olson for 40 yards in Seattle. Wins the game. You backtrack last year yeah. when Carolina played in Seattle. In, in Seattle, yep. Richard Sherman picks off Cam Newton, Newton to win the game. He also had the shot again 
They, this, these two teams are great. These are rivals for years to come. Yes. Carolina is here to stay. Seattle is here to stay. stay. They also they got two, three-year windows on these teams. Yeah, of course. Regardless, just because they have phenomenal defenses. And who their quarterbacks are. Yep, exactly. It doesn't even matter yeah. who's the wide receiver. You hit it right there. No, exactly. It doesn't even matter. Neither one of them have a real, like, Stud. eye-blown wide receiver. Besides you know, like, the quarterbacks and Greg Olson, who's yeah. the best wide receiver on the field? Doug both Baldwin. Teams. Doug Baldwin. And Teddy yeah. Ginn's probably. And Ted no. Ginn, but that's. He's a glorified yeah. punt returner. Come on. Now. Exactly. And I mean, he's Stonehand. Stonehand. Yeah, exactly. What a great game this is. All about quarterback play, all about what they're going to do. Yes. Uh, defenses and, and quarterback play. This game's going to be all on defenses and quarterback play. I think instincts is huge. I yeah. think Richard Sherman gets an interception in the first half off Cam Newton right away. Okay. I'm calling that right now. After he got burned to Olsen. Yeah. During the season, and he picked him last year. Sherman's going to bait Newton, and Sherman's going to get an interception. Why in the world, ladies and gentlemen, is Carolina, who has one fucking loss on the season, minus two at right. home off a of bye? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you tell me why this team is only minus two again. Uh, yeah, it's Seattle. I don't know why. They almost lost to Minnesota. Tell me why, Ben. Because they're going to lose the game outright. They're going to lose the fucking game outright. outright. Seahawks, ladies and gentlemen. You like Seattle? I. That's my best bet. Of the whole playoffs ever. Guys. It's a super lock. Look at the odds to win the Super, super Bowl. Super lock. It's fucking telling you Seattle or Arizona is going, not Carolina. If exactly. you look at the odds, it's telling you Seattle is winning this game. How in the world offered by Cam Newton are you minus two? How? You tell me how and you explain that to me. The spread should be three or four. Seattle, what were they, six seed? It should be four. Or five. Seattle was the five or six? F- uh, six. It was the or six seed. No, because... Okay. No, it has to be. Carolina yeah. was one. Yeah, you're right. You're it right. has to be. They were. were six seed. When they in were. the world did you watch a one seed versus six seed and the spread was minus two? Not even a field goal. When? In the last years. Never. Never. Never, ever. It's usually three and a half, four, four. and a half, two and a half. Come on. You got to take Seattle, ladies and gentlemen. They're giving you that one. But why do you like Seattle over there, Vin? Why do you like Seattle I, and Carolina? I, we broke down the quarterbacks. Because I'll tell you right now, about. in my eyes, Carolina has a great defense. For this, mm-hmm. from this, from the start of the season, not a good defense <laughs> last year. It wasn't. Uh, it, it wasn't like it was this year. Seattle's had a good defense for the last three years. Mm-hmm. I think it's just getting better, and they're thriving off of all these wins. Be they're thriving off of being a six seed and just beating, uh, winning the game last week in Minnesota versus a division winner. Now they're going to come in here and knock them off because they have all the confidence in the world. They've been on fire since Jimmy Graham and. And uh, Marshall Lynch haven't played. They've been on f- absolute fire. It's crazy. They've been on on fire. You can't trust teams that never been here before. And we said that about Minnesota exactly. earlier. And Carolina hasn't been in the position in a long time. Riverboat Ron. And I'm sorry, Pete can I coach. Mean, Pete on. Carroll can coach. You gave this team life after missed field goal. They haven't felt this good exactly. in the playoffs in so long. You lost on the one-yard line in the Super Bowl. You just got a gift on a missed 27-yard field goal. They will be ready they to go. They should be go. eliminated. They shouldn't even be in this game right You're now. Right. They should they not even be in this to game. Lose. The camaraderie was all there after the win like that. They're all, you know... I think we could say that about Green Bay, too. They haven't felt good against Los Angeles Seahawks. They, they got their confidence back. They got a little mojo. That's why that's a hard game to pick. But Seattle, you just feel good now. You feel yeah. confident. You could do this. You know, band of brothers. Get everybody together in this game, and yeah. let's go. That's where it is. Let Teddy Ginn beat you. Take Olsen out of the game, and Teddy Ginn, Richard Sherman, here you go. Well, one Teddy Ginn might not game. play. I know Jonathan Stewart's not playing. Why is they he already not said playing? that. He said he's a game pound. This is uh, I think right. he'll play. He, I think he should play, I think he'll though. be in the game. I'm, I'm taking that Baldwin will have his trouble against Josh Norman. I think it has to be cursed. It has to be Tyler Lockett in this game. Russell Wilson with the legs. You know, and the over's at 44, so it's, it's telling you it's going to be a nail-biter. Yeah. I'll, I'll still go over because it's too much talent on both quarterbacks not to go over here. And, and then special teams are both good. Teddy Ginn and Tyler Lockett. Yes. So you got two special kick returners, punt returners. you got two great quarterbacks. i got no problem laying 44 points in North Carolina. No I'm problem whatsoever. With you, yeah. So I, I, we got to give a score. I got Russell three TDs, two field goals, twenty-seven. I'm going twenty-seven, twenty-four Seattle. I'm going twenty-four, twenty-seven. I'm going thirty-five, thirty-one Seattle. Wow, you're going really high. Yeah, yeah, yeah cold weather's over. I got gotcha. you. All yeah. right, Vin. We're, we got our lock since we had the Chiefs last week, and now we got yes. Seattle together. We might have another lock. We'll go into the next game. Start us off, please. We got the depleted Pittsburgh Steelers. Ben Wildsburg with one arm. And we got Antonio Brown. Does he have a concussion? Does he we not have a concussion? I don't know. It wasn't there. We don't know what he has. 
They are no plus idea. seven going into Mile High Denver. Best defense in the NFL. Vinny, who do you like and why? Uh, I think Denver might absolutely annihilate this team. I think they might kill him. Like we said before, Big Ben's not 100% from what they're saying. Big Ben's not 100%. We don't even know if Antonio Brown's going to play. I mean, Peyton, I think this is the year Peyton Manning really, really wants it. He has the best defense on his, He has the best defense behind him. Yep. I mean, I think they're going to get it. And, I, and I'm hearing now that uh, the, the, the Marius Thomas' his mom is going to watch him play for the first time oh. since he got she got arrested when he was 11 for drug trafficking. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That's I know. Obama's new rule let her out early. He oh. let out from the federal jail all the drug offenders, all the nonviolent drug offenders. I'm serious. You're so political, Vinny. I love it. <laughs> well, I didn't she know you might... knew this stuff. Man. I know all this stuff. <laughs> I love you. Well, she might be watching his first game ever this week. So, I mean, I'm How do you going know this Broncos stuff, here. bro? I'm like shocked. I'm going Broncos here. <laughs> going Broncos. Vinny, I just tried to look. You guys watch on the screen with the over under in this game because there's none put up. Yeah, it's Because we don't up. know what's going to happen. But honestly... You're out of your fucking mind if you don't lay seven points with Denver off of yeah, Brian. Peyton yeah. Man said this is the best he's felt since week one. You got no I, big well, I don't look too you good because week one Brown. didn't go too well. But healthy, listen, Walter Bay looked good against San Diego, He man. did. No, he did. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'd rather this, see that. You just went into a war against Cincinnati. If the Steelers went into the Tennessee Titans this week, they would lose, I feel like. Yeah. You know, you got to look at it like that. You got to go travel back on the road after a war game, after all the controversy you got to deal with yeah. all week. You You're don't right. know who your quarterback is. You don't have your number one wide. You don't have Le'Veon Bell. You don't have uh, D'Angelo still, Williams. You have Croissant in the background. Croissant ain't going to run against these guys, bro. They're too good. Todman, Todman's not going to run against these no, guys. It's just, this has to be... If Big Ben plays, expect four-yard passes to heat build the whole game and move the chains. Yeah. They'll take the clock down. Every yard will be fought for in this game. They'll play tight. But Denver's too good. Their defense is too good. They'll, you know, they'll tire them out. It's hard to play a mile high, man, especially air, at this time. Yeah. You get exhausted. You need the oxygen to tank. If you're not ready to go, after a war game like Cincinnati, I, I got Broncos by like 20 here, man. Yeah, I, I got, got a blowout. 47. Maybe 40 to 10. Out. I got 30, defensive 35, touchdowns. 7. You know, if 35, you're down 14. money, just sink your nest on Denver at night. Sink it, guys. Yeah. You know, I know you got a little, uh, it smells like Upset City and Green Bay Cardinals, Seattle Panthers. Is a, those are two tough games to put pick but this denver Steelers game it's you know it's a slam dunk you, they, yeah. you just gotta lay you gotta lay the seven points and take them by the half a point yeah. don't be stupid don't be don't be cheap you know when when it's 14 nothing the broncos are celebrating on the sidelines you know as we saw in the national championship exactly. game just by the half a point in denver i think you're safe here and you walk out smiling going to sleep after god's football day of sunday to be honest with you so vin that's our wild card week we cap so we're with Seattle together. Yes, we we're are. We're with Denver together. Denver together. We like we're six together and a half, on seven and a half Arizona. Yeah, we're together on Sunday and opposite on Saturday. And we're we're <laughs> against each other on Saturday. That's great. So we're getting better. Last yeah. week it was one. This week, this it's, week two. it's two. So we we're got to, we got a couple minutes left, and we want to talk about the national championship yes. game. Me and Vinny, we both picked Clemson plus seven and a half. They look fucking sensational, man, to be honest with you. I'm so proud of the Clemson Tigers team. And I I'll tell you one thing. I thought they were going to win the game. I thought they were going to win the game. I'm, I'm sad as a Miami fan because Clemson did two things. One, they're a dynasty. Yeah. They're not going anywhere. No. Uh, they're just not. They're not. Deshaun Watson, Dabble Sweeney, there's a Dabble lot of talent Sweeney, here. Yeah. And two, I am happy because it sets the bar for the Miami program, me being a Miami fan, that we have to step our game up, get talent, so we could be a 9-10 win team year in and out. Because of... That didn't teach you anything that Clemson's not going anywhere for the next five years. The whole ACC's in trouble. Yeah, you're right. Think about it. Vin, Duke, North Carolina, Florida State, Miami, Georgia Tech. They're in trouble. Who the fuck is beating in Clemson? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Kaya can't matter. beat them. I know. He you're can't right. beat them. But Clemson, you have, you have, you should be happy how your performance led, uh, in the Super Bowl game on Monday. They have Watson Fantastic. coming back next year too, right? Got Watson doing 485 yeah. yards. Vin, what would you take? I just want to give shout out to Clemson. I know you guys played phenomenal. They played. You covered on the back door. Listen, they played. I thought some, you guys should have won the game. Not even yet. That they played. They they played exceptional. Deshaun Watson was absolutely carried that team on his back. He played amazing. Made plays where I was like, "What is this kid doing? Oh my god, that's ridiculous!" You know, like that's ridiculous. Eye blowing shit. I was like, "What the hell?" But yeah, he played very well. Um... And you're right. They're going to be a dynasty, dynasty. For, for years to come. That kid, Dabo Swing, is a great head coach. What do you think about uh, Saber? Now, let's take it to the other side of the world tie. Vinny, special teams, 
That won the game. Special teams coach won him and the Lane game. Kiffin won the game. Not even Saban. You cannot credit Nick Saban for this win. You gave up 485 His yards on offense. Special teams won the game. They had a, they were, they, they ran the freaking uh, kickoff, back. kickoff back, and they had the onside kick. That was some play at the perfect time. Just you Amazing. can't write that up. Even the start of the game, Vinny. Both teams were running the kickoff back out to the 40, 50 yard line. I know. Line. And like, how was this game so high in points? Do you yeah. see where they're starting their drives? Drives guys? out. Yeah. They only had to get 20 yards to get a field goal range. It was. It was. Massive, massive job by the special teams coach. A massive job by Lane Kiffin. Yes. He didn't get tight when it was um, a five-point game and they had to no. get a first down. He let Coker throw the ball. He ran a nice play to O.J. Howard. Exactly. Break down on the Clemson defense. That kid defense. played really well, O.J. Howard. He's a stud. He's a stud. And that's Lane Kiffin not using him throughout the year. But he was a stud when Julio Jones was there. And he was the second option. They would use him as a decoy and get the ball to Howard. This year, they didn't give him the ball. ball they just, yeah. It was Henry. It was the Henry show. And what they did was instead He still of, carried 36 times. They used Henry as a decoy to get to O.J. Howard, Howard. the pumping ghost. And, you know, Jared Coker is not a good quarterback. We said he sucks. No, Listen, he sucks. Stevie Wonder could have thrown these fucking balls to O.J. Howard sucks. down the field. Seriously. He's running down the field with no one on him for My 40 My fat yards. ass could throw him the ball. Come on now. <laughs> Seriously. But is he the best coach? This is what I want to ask you. What's up? If you had to pick one college football coach to win a game, Saban or Urban, who are you picking? Who would you um, pick? Who's depends. the best coach in college football? I think That's depends. breathing. I think it depends on my opponent is. <laughs> I, um, if I need offense, I'm going Urban. If I'm going defense, I'm going no, Saban. No, if you have to pick a coach, Vinny, Nick to win Saban. you a game, Nick you pick Saban. Saban, I pick Urban Meyer. I trust Urban. Nick Saban. I, I, I love Urban. Nick he Saban. don't lose. You had a month off to prepare, I'm picking, I'm picking Urban. I'm picking Nick. Okay. That's another thing we disagree on, by the way. <laughs> another, we got nine minutes left, Vin. We want to let you guys know that we will have a Royal Rumble recap uh, next week. Next week, right? We will be not on Wednesday. We're trying to get a schedule. We're thinking of looking at Thursday. Let you guys know, but we'll all be ready to go and post it right up on Facebook and Instagram when we find out the current times. Yes. Just a co- schedule conflict next week, but we will be here at some point. During the week, yes. Yeah, so Vin, um, what do you want to talk about now? Um, I want to ask you about... Um, Head coach in the NFL because I know um, oh. your team's looking for a head coach now. Lovey Smith got fired, which was I think the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. But I mean, who do you where do you think your bucks should look going forward? Okay, first of all, you could say it's the dumbest thing in the world, but when you give up 89 points to the Carolina Panthers and when you go 0 4 in December and you can't win a game and you lose to the Bears and the Saints and the Rams and you had to win two of those games to make the playoffs. And you no, don't win any, you and you had two of those games at home. You gotta go, Lovey Smith. You can't say we don't have the talent here. We don't have the talent here. That's a that's a poor man excuse. That's not gonna work. We need a Tampa two defense. The Tampa two is outdated. It doesn't work, man. Yeah, but I, I feel like the only way anymore. you're gonna better your team is if you stick is if you stick with a head coach. Is mm. if you stick with a head coach for three years, four years. You're not going to go anywhere hiring a guy and firing him after two years, and then you got to bring in a whole new coach with his staff. You understand? Especially for a young quarterback like Winston, he now has to get used to maybe a whole new – I don't know if the OC is going to be back or he's going to be the head coach or whatnot, but you got to get used to a whole new playbook and – a whole new this and a whole new that for a rookie quarterback, you know? I'm thinking That's how I look. I mean, he got him. six wins with – he got six wins with a quarterback this year, Lovey Smith. I mean – Six and ten, but if you got talent on fucking defense, Vinny, and you got no fucking defense, season. bro. We got Quan Alexander, Levante David, Gerald McCoy, Altron Werner. What are you saying? We can't. We need pieces for defense. We have four studs back there. We could play. They cause turnovers. They're beasts. You just your system's terrible, and we can't it. let Curtis walk because you can't have a rookie quarterback go and do a new another so offensive line coach. That, yeah, but if he leaves, that's my point. If we don't hire Coder. I guarantee you we're getting Chip Kelly because that was his you offensive so? coordinator in Oregon. Okay. So it's going to be sort of the same system. Okay. We're going to go I offensive minded and we're going to bring in a new defensive guy with a lot to prove okay. and coach the defense because you can't say, oh, we don't have zone scheme players. It's just not going to work. My personal opinion, I don't want Coda. I want him out. I wanted Tom Coughlin right away. I said on Facebook, yeah, we need I... a disciplinary guy. We need a guy to hold people accountable. We need a winner in here. But I got no problem with Chip Kelly just because okay. our GM is going to have full rights on the players pick. And as long did, as you make sure of that. He did a fantastic job in this draft. He's not going to have any say. I tell you okay. that right now. Good. But he has to get this right because if he gets it wrong, he's gone too. He's gone too. I'm like, oh, fine. Listen, we're a win now mentality organization. We got rid of the great Tony Dungy for John Gruden to win a championship. 
It worked before. So don't knock my organization for when pull the trigger too early. When we pulled the trigger on Tony Dungy yeah, and we did. won a fucking championship because of John Gruden. Because, right. you know, it, it worked. So you it need did. you need to find a fit. And when, when you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Yeah. I, I love the Browns high with Hugh Jackson. So I, loved, I love Fantastic. that hire. I like that hire a lot. That's probably my favorite hire so far. I mean, over the hires, and there hasn't been many, but that's probably my favorite one. And he already said, man's no, no more Manziel. Good. He, don't he needs want to him. go. He needs to go. I don't blame him either. I'm, I'm with you there. I mean, All right. Last take. We no giant news yet for the head coach. Yeah, there's no. What's news. it looking like, Vin? What's your I thought? heard today because after because Hugh Jackson was supposed to interview it tomorrow. Yeah. He canceled it and high and went right to the Browns and took and took the offer. Mm -hmm. They said uh, Adam Schefter or something reported that uh, the Giants are more like going to keep it in house. So probably McAdoo or Spags. That's what I. Do I would give to. respect to all. That's why I would give it to. I wouldn't give it to McAdoo. He's going to leave anyway. Yeah. Uh, you need a defensive guy, but it doesn't change anything. I would it even doesn't. check out McDermott in Carolina. You think Tom's going to go to Philly? That would be great if he does. I hope he'd he be does. the perfect guy for that. He team. would be. You're 100 percent right. Disciplinarian. It'd be it would it'd be. be great. I want him in Tampa, but that's fine. I actually want Hugh Jackson. I heard to Mike Shanahan might go to the 49ers. He shouldn't even be in the league. I heard he's going back to the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, a little teaser right there. All right, guys, that's our show this Wednesday. We'll see you next week. We got Royal Rumble and we got yes. NFC AFC Championship games. games. Thank you for the love, guys. We'll see you. Take Happy care. See you next week, guys. This is a microphone.